Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article, very interesting, and it says the carnivorous plant. Uh, if you look at the word carnivorous, we have a root word, carnivore, right? And carnivorous meaning that of a carnivore. And carnivore means some animal that eats other animals, right? So meat eating, right? Dinosaurs, uh, many of them like the Tyrannosaurus rex, the T-Rex was a carnivore. Lions and tigers are carnivores. They only eat meat. So there's a plant that actually eats meat. So if you look at this picture, this is what it is. Some of you may have seen it. Some of you may be the first time you've seen this scary looking plant. Let's find out more about it. Uh, the Venus flytrap is a plant that eats insects. So this is the name of the Venus uh, flytrap. This is the flower that actually eats bugs, insects. It has a trap that releases sweet nectar. So trap means right it's kind of it opens and shuts right so it can hold something that's a trap and releases means it gives right or makes sweet nectar so nectar is like the sugary liquid the sugary water kind of a thing that flowers make and flowers make this sweet thing so that other insects or bugs will come and eat it and help them spread their seeds or pollen uh, and the nectar is what bees actually drink and use to make our honey or honey for themselves too so it says when the flies and insects smell the nectar they fly into the trap and land on the leaves so the nectar the sweet sugar water or the liquid inside the plant it gives a smell and the insects can smell it and they come near uh, the Venus flytrap it sits on one of its leaves once inside the leaves shut and fluids inside break down the insect into small parts so this is considered one of their leaves so when they give off the smell of nectar these insects come and they sit there so once they fly like a bug or an insect flies into the trap they close the trap they close the leaves and they shut and fluids fluids are like water like liquid and inside it starts spreading inside the trap and they break down the insect into small parts. So that means it, it causes the insects to kind of melt or break into small little parts. If the plant traps something that is not food, the leaves will open after 12 hours to throw the object away. So if another, for example, if a leaf falls in there because of the wind, after it traps it and it tries to break it down, and then after 12 hours, if it's not food, then it just opens up and lets it go. But if it is an insect, it will keep it there and keep producing these uh, liquids so that the insect inside will become smaller and smaller and then it'll eventually right, eat it and go into the plant. So very interesting, but I don't think we'll have to worry too much about it uh, because we can probably take our fingers right out. So this is very dangerous for insects and very interesting for us to learn about. So this is the Venus flytrap, a carnivorous plant. Very interesting. So let's take a look at today's questions, and that's another picture of what the Venus flytrap looks like. The leaves will blink after 12 hours to throw the object away. So what will the leaves do after 12 hours of holding it? If it's not food, what will it do? Will it continue to stay shut? What will it do? And we read about it, and that's right, it will open after 12 hours, and then it will throw the object away. Let's look at the second question. When flies and insects blink the nectar, they fly towards the trap. Can they see the nectar? Does it come out of the plant? What is it that we talked about? So a lot of bugs and insects, they have very strong senses, and so they can do what with the nectar that the flower makes? And that's right, they can smell it. So bugs have very sensitive smell, and they can come and smell nectar from plants from far away and they know that they can get some food from there. And the last question here, it says, once inside, the leaves blink and fluids inside break down the insect into small parts. So when a bug comes inside the leaf and then it shuts, what happens, right? Once inside, the leaves blink and fluids inside, and we just talked about it, right? The leaves shut or it closes, right? And that's the trap. And that's where it gets its name, the Venus fly trap. So it, traps not only flies but many other insects so the venus fly trap is a plant that eats flowers insects or dust well dust was never mentioned and a flower eating another flower well uh, that's not that's interesting but that's not what we learned so the correct answer is it eats insects all kinds of different bugs 
The second question, it says it has a fly, trap, or a stem that releases nectar. So the stem is the body part, the stiff, strong body part of a plant, and that's not what we learned. It has a fly that releases nectar, so flies do not make nectar. So the correct answer would be, that's right, it has a, it has a trap that releases nectar. So inside the plant, it makes uh, food for bugs and insects to come and eat, and that's what draws them or makes them want to come. Okay, the last question, it says, the insects fly toward the trap and land on the ground, land on the leaves or on the table. So if table is not part of a plant, uh, lands on the ground, then it would not get any food. So the correct answer would be land on the, that's right, land on the leaves. So today we learned about a very interesting but scary, right, plant called the Venus flytrap. And we learned a new word, carnivorous, meaning it eats other animals, eats other bugs. And in this case, it's a plant that eats insects. Very interesting using this trap. So if you see one, then you can share with your friends and your family what it is. And to be careful not to put your finger in it because it might try to trap you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.